In the disputed waters of the South China Sea, the long-standing territorial dispute between the Philippines and China has reignited following a new confrontation at the Scarborough Shoal. The Philippines has accused China of engaging in dangerous maneuvers and obstruction after the latter reinstated a barrier at the Shoal, which China had seized from Manila back in 2012. According to Philippine Coast Guard PCG, spokesman Jay Terriella, two Philippine vessels encountered a group of four China Coast Guard CCG ships and six maritime militia vessels near the shoal on Monday. So there are two China Coast Guard vessels, mainstay stationed in uh, the lagoon. These are the two Chinese Coast Guard vessels that have the responsibility in laying out the floating barrier. And there are two other China Coast Guard vessels outside na nanghahakas naman every time the, the Philippine government vessels will try to patrol within the vicinity of Bajo de Masingo. During this encounter, one of the Philippine ships was reportedly hit by water cannon from a CCG ship approximately 12 nautical miles from the shoal. Another PCG vessel faced similar aggression, with water cannon targeting it from two CCG ships when it was around 1,000 yards away from the shoal. Tariella highlighted that the Philippine ship sustained damage to its railing and canopy due to the forceful water pressure used by the China Coast Guard. In response to these events, Beijing claimed to have expelled Philippine vessels from the area and reinstated a barrier across the entrance to the shoal. The Philippines view Scarborough Shoal, known locally as Bajo de Masinloc, as part of its exclusive economic zone, EEZ, under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, UNCLOS, which extends 200 nautical miles from a country's coast. China's installation of the barrier last year was deemed a breach of international maritime law by the Philippines, leading to its removal in September. <laughs> This latest incident adds to a series of confrontations between the two nations over the South China Sea, where China's expansive territorial claims have been disputed by neighboring countries and rejected by an international tribunal in 2016. Despite the tribunal's ruling, China has persisted in asserting its claims over the region, which is also contested by Brunei, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam. In previous months, the Philippine Coast Guard took decisive action by removing a floating barrier installed by China in the disputed Scarborough Shoal area of the South China Sea. This move, directed by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr., was aimed at upholding international law and safeguarding navigation in the region, which had been hindered by the barrier. The threat has grown, um, and since the threat has grown, we must uh, do more. To, to defend our, our uh, territory. And uh, so maybe perhaps that's what, that is, uh, what we people, people are seeing, uh, is that a more robust defense of our, of our territorial rights uh, as uh, recognized by the international community through international law, through the UNCLOS. Um, and uh, we, we, we hew very close to that. Images shared by Philippine Coast Guard spokesperson, Jay Terriella depicted personnel cutting the barrier's cable and removing its anchor, underscoring Manila's firm stance on protecting its maritime interests. Tensions between the Philippines and China persist over territorial disputes in the South China Sea, where Beijing claims a vast maritime domain that overlaps with the exclusive economic zones, EEZ, of neighboring countries. The Philippines maintains that Scarborough Shoal falls within its 200 nautical mile EEZ as defined by international maritime law and affirmed by a ruling from the Hague's International Court of Arbitration. In contrast, China asserts sovereignty over the area, referring to it as Wangyan Island. The removal of the barrier reflected Manila's determination to assert its sovereignty and protect the rights of Filipino fishermen, 
who face challenges accessing traditional fishing grounds since China seized control of Scarborough Shoal in 2012. Despite ongoing tensions and China's expansive claims in the region, the Philippine government remains committed to protect its maritime interest in the South China Sea. The last thing anyone uh, would like is for conflict to arise. This is not poking the, the bear, as it were. Uh, we are trying quite to, to, to do quite the opposite. The Scarborough Shoal, situated in the South China Sea, holds significant geopolitical importance due to its strategic location and rich marine resources. Named after a British ship that grounded on the atoll centuries ago, the shoal has become synonymous with regional power struggles and disputes over sovereignty and fishing rights. Despite a landmark ruling by the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague in 2016, which favored the Philippines on certain aspects and invalidated China's claims over most of the South China Sea, Beijing has continued to exert control over Scarborough Shoal. The area remains a focal point for diplomatic tensions and maritime disputes among multiple claimant states. Recent developments in Scarborough Shoal highlight the challenges of regional dynamics. In response to improved relations and diplomatic overtures by Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte, China had eased restrictions on Filipino fishing activities around the shoal. However, the reinstallation of a barrier by China and subsequent confrontations highlights ongoing challenges in asserting maritime rights and upholding international law. Despite diplomatic efforts to manage tensions, including efforts to enhance communication and cooperation between the Philippines and China, the Scarborough Shoal dispute remains a contentious issue. The Philippines' determination to protect its sovereignty and safeguard the rights of Filipino fishermen reflects broader regional concerns over China's maritime assertiveness and expansive territorial claims in the South China Sea. The Scarborough Shoal dispute carries significant strategic implications for the region. China's increasing presence and activities near the shoal, including the deployment of Coast Guard and fishing vessels, raise concerns about Beijing's long-term intentions and potential plans for further development, similar to artificial island building activities in other parts of the South China Sea. The standoff at Scarborough Shoal signifies the challenges faced by smaller claimant states like the Philippines in asserting their maritime rights against China's growing military and economic influence. Efforts to strengthen defense ties with allies such as the United States and Japan highlight the broader security implications of maritime disputes in the South China Sea. We meet today as friends and partners bound by a shared vision and pursuit of a peaceful, stable, and prosperous Indo-Pacific, as well as the conduct of trilateral maritime exercises and joint development cooperation. Beyond security concerns, the Scarborough Shoal dispute also has economic ramifications. Tensions between the Philippines and China threaten vital sectors such as tourism, agriculture, and trade, impacting bilateral relations and regional stability. Business communities in the Philippines have expressed concerns about trade disruptions and investment uncertainties because of tensions in the South China Sea. The Scarborough Shoal dispute serves as a microcosm of broader geopolitical dynamics and regional power struggles in the Asia-Pacific region. As tensions persist, the international community will continue to monitor developments and advocate for peaceful resolutions to maritime disputes that respect the rights and interests of all parties involved.